For me, it's about the law and people. I just need facts, okay? Yeah, okay? Just facts. And how people can resolve their problems and just be better for it. Justice with passion. I always knew I was going to go into law because I tried to see everybody's point of view in an argument. And I encouraged people to talk to each other to try to resolve their problems. Justice with truth. Do not waste your time and do not waste mine. This is Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. Serena Madden is suing Eddie Cadella in the amount of $750. Ms. Madden claims her daughter's birthday was ruined by a hideous clown and says that wasn't what she ordered for the jungle-themed party. Ms. Madden, you are suing uh, Mr. Cadella for $750 because you hired him uh, or his company to have some entertainment for your daughter's birthday, is that correct? I was planning my daughter's sixth birthday party. It was a jungle themed birthday party and I ordered a lion, a monkey, and a tiger from Cadella Entertainment mm -hmm. with Eddie. When I spoke to him, he had good reviews. He assured me that all of the people that he hired to wear the costumes were kid-friendly and that he did background checks. Mr. Cadella, uh, how long have you had your business? Uh, about nine years ago, I did uh, start the business. So I've had it for a few years now, Your Honor. Okay. So you exclusively provide entertainment for children's parties? It's or? for any type of uh, event, okay. Your Honor. Okay, so what kind of characters do you have? What else do you do? Uh, we have uh, magicians, princesses, animals, uh, even superheroes. Can you explain to me what she booked from Cadella Entertainment exactly? Ms. Madden ended up contacting me regarding uh, her six-year-old daughter's birthday party. And she expressed to me that it was a jungle theme. Oh, and so jungle theme party. Correct. Yes, Your Honor. And the uh, discussion we had was the pricing, how much it costs, and when the payment was due. How and much How much was the cost? Explain. It was $200 per character, so it will be a, a total of $600, Your Honor. Then the contract was exactly for what, or the agreement? It, the agreement was for the lion, the tiger, and the monkey, Your Honor. I do have... 200 each, 600 total. Correct, yes. Uh, is that the written contract? Yes, it is, Your Honor. Cinder, may I see that? And um, what that? other restrictions? What other restrictions or clauses that pertain to this contract? Anything else that I should know about? No, Your Honor. Nothing? It was, a, it was a verbal understanding, and then, of course, the agreement as well was signed. So what happened the day of the party? The day of the party, Your Honor, the monkey and the lion showed up 30 minutes before the party started. Everything was going perfect. The and that's was... according to the contract. That's what they were supposed to do. Yes. Okay. Correct. Everything was going perfect. Um, I was getting ready for the party, getting the decorations together, and I noticed that the tiger had not shown up. Mm -hmm. So I called Eddie, and he told me that the tiger had gotten into a car accident. And oh, okay. Yes. The tiger got into so a car accident. So that's an unforeseen accident. situation. Right. So yes. what, did, what did you ask him to do or what, did, what happened? Well, we agreed that he would send another character. I was under the impression that he would send an, another animal character for my well, jungle right, theme. Because it was a I jungle can't read party. I understand yes. that, but also did express through text, which I have right here uh -huh. as evidence, that I did, I did not have any other characters at the time. You told her. You texted her. Saying, I did. There was a I text no message. no other animal no animals, characters. Correct. And I did express that. She did not respond back at the time. Uh, and again, Your I do Honor, have that I as stressed. evidence if I could present this. It was a lot going she on. was in the middle of a party. Yeah, I was in I the middle of a party. I was in the middle of decorations. I'll go ahead and see your text. I had but kids time, Honor, running around. Can I had let her speak? people yes, I was trying to Is entertain. Your Honor, I was not paying attention to my text messages. I am a dedicated mother. I wanted to make sure that my daughter had the perfect jungle themed birthday party and when he said that he was going to send another character I was under the impression that he was going to send another animal character okay. but instead okay. I sent a text I expect you to respond he sent a clown as a character your honor he sent a hideous clown to my jungle themed birthday party I assumed Okay. That you would send another animal to my jungle theme party, but he sent this hideous clown. I haven't. I have evidence. Can okay. I? So tell me what happened when this hideous clown arrived to your party. Your Honor, the clown was terrible. He didn't sing or dance like the other animal characters at all. Mm -hmm. All he did was make these terrible balloon animals and That's chase the kids. Do. Your Honor. Three of my guests left the party when he arrived because of their clown phobia. Oh, wow. And you know what? When it was time to sing happy birthday, he insisted, this terrible clown insisted on carrying the cake. Mm -hmm. And before they even got to the table, he dropped half of my daughter's birthday cake. People laughed. My daughter cried. I was so frustrated. I didn't know what to do. It was so much going on. 
So I told him to leave. Okay. All right, so you told the clown to leave. Let me see the evidence. What evidence do you have? I have, um... Do you have any answer? Your Honor, I did attempt to contact others in my list of those that were available, and everyone was booked at the time. It was okay. a Saturday, All right. and the only person that was available so was... So, I imagine, Mr. Cadella, you've been in business, what, you said 10, 11 years? Two on our nine years. Your nine Honor. years, I'm sorry. This has happened before. It does. This is not the first time it's ever happened, right? I've never had any complaints from any okay, other customers. Okay, but I'm sure you've had a very specific party that somebody has enlisted your services to do. Correct, correct? yes, and I fulfill So it. you're not going to send a clown to a princess theme party, I right? I understand that, exactly. but I've been to so zoos and I've seen you, clowns you decided, at zoos. You I've decided, you decided, Mr. Cadella. Yes, Your Honor. I'm so happy you've been to zoos and that you've seen clowns there. That's fantastic. But that has nothing to do with what your client enlisted your services for. Coming up on Justice For All. Did the clown drop the cake on purpose? You know what, Your Honor, that's a great question. I just happen to think he was clowning around, so yes. And later. We get out of the car, take the picnic stuff, we walk into the park, and then we realize there are rides and bouncy houses, and then there's like a very dedicated area of the park where people are protesting. Closed captioning provided by, if you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching Justice For All with Judge Christina Perez. We're back with the case of Serena Madden, who is suing Eddie Cadella for breach of contract. You don't have any clause that would kind of help you uh, if you can't perform, if something happens, if a character doesn't show up. I mean, that's to your benefit. The burden's on you as the person who's providing the service to have some type of of clause that helps you either perform or not perform, right? Correct. The, but the, it was there's a clown, nothing it's in a there. Party. So if I am looking at this document, all this is it. This, this is the document that I'm looking at, and it's pretty darn clear. We all make mistakes and accidents happen, Your Honor. I didn't expect for the, well, not, the character to get into an accident. You me my money back. I offered you 20% and through a text. I don't want 20%. Okay. Can you, Cinder, can you give this to uh, Mr. Candela, and can you have him read the last clause of his contract that I underlined? Right here. If any of the characters do not show up at this time, a refund or replacement will be offered. Okay, a refund or a replacement. So a refund means to me clearly a refund. A replacement means a replacement for another animal that will be offered. So that means you are, if you can't perform your contract, you're gonna offer something. You're gonna offer something else. But it, just like in any other contract, if you offer, the person has to accept, right? Correct, but the text so message, she, she never replied. She, that means she did not accept. That's what the contract was for. It's pretty simple. I, 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 I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, it would have been much easier for you to offer $200 to, for, for the reimbursement, okay? So you offered a, a replacement that she did not want. Now, so with the cake. So when the, the cake was um, destroyed by this clown, did, uh, did the clown drop the cake on purpose? You know what, Your Honor, that's a great question. I just happen to think he was clowning around, so yes. So did, I, did, I, I want to know, do, do, do you think it was part of his act and he it's dropped the cake on purpose? I mean, I, I'm going to give the clown, I know he's here, and you can stand up, Mr. Benkins. I, uh, you can stand up next to Mr. Cadella. Do you think that was part of his whole Your routine? Honor, I do think it was a part of his routine. Because, like I, I mean, Miss Madden, he knew he was there because it was a, a six-year-old six birthday party, right? So do you think he would actually, on purpose, drop the cake? Your Honor, he is a clown. And like I said, I do think that he was clowning around, and I do think he did it on purpose, or it was a part of his act. Okay, like so I Mr. Said, Benkins, what, I, happens, what, what happened when you were carrying the cake? So um, I, I was carrying the cake. I offered to carry the cake because, you know, I wanted to be nice. And um, I um, was carrying the cake up. There's a lot of toys on the ground, and I, I just fell down. There were toys on the ground? There were lots of toys on the ground, and I fell down. Party it's a, it's a, it's Honor, a party. It was a birthday party. It was a jungle-themed birthday party. We had toys 
For the kids. Okay, but when he I was walking, were there toys when he was walking? I don't remember there being toys on the ground. Uh, some Barbie toys, there was a Ken doll on the ground, there's lots of toys on Your the Honor, ground. May I show you the evidence? Yep. Yeah. I have a photo of my setup and all of my evidence? decorations. No, check. thank okay. you. So uh, I, I just see grass and balloon uh, giraffes and uh, um, zebras on the side of her backyard. I don't see anything on the floor but grass. Were you walking carefully or were you trying to entertain at the same time you're carrying the cake? I was entertaining and walking carefully okay. at the same time. All right, okay. All right, maybe you should have been a little more careful? Maybe, maybe, maybe. So based on the evidence, um, I find that there was a valid oral and then written agreement between the parties uh, that Mr. Cadella would provide three specific animals. In your contract, you said that if somebody doesn't show up within the 30 minutes, you can offer a refund or a replacement. The problem is that she did not accept a replacement of a clown. And logically, nobody would send a clown to a jungle theme party. So based on the evidence, I will grant the claim of uh, the plaintiffs for the $200. Now, as to the cake, um, you know, I have a feeling, Mr. Benkins, that you were kind of like walking around. You were doing your act, yeah, right? Yeah, I was, I was entertaining. When, That's what when, I was going to do. When you carry a cake, you don't entertain. You may laugh and this and that, but the mere fact that you told me there was toys all over the, the, the ground, now that, that's not true. I mean, that's not true. And, and I can see that based on the pictures of her, of, her, of her party that she posted on her social media, okay? So based on the evidence, I find that maybe you were not as careful as you should have been carrying the cake. So uh, that in total, I will award the plaintiff $750. Good luck. Judge Perez has ruled in favor of the plaintiff, the defendant has been ordered to pay $750. You see, this is a huge win for all of the parents out there. When you're planning parties, make sure you pay attention to details. It's a business. I run a business, it's what I do, and I pay attention to everything. And you did not pay attention to your freaking phone well, like you I should. Well, I definitely won't Thank be you. leaving you a review. Thank you. Coming up on Justice For All. We get out of the car, take the picnic stuff, we walk into the park and then we realize there are rides and bouncy houses and then there's like a very dedicated area of the park where people are protesting. Closed captioning provided by. You're watching Justice For All with Judge Christina Perez. Rashida Howard is suing Kenneth Walker in the amount of $1,480. Ms. Howard claims she was injured and ticketed after getting caught up in a protest and says Mr. Walker should be the one to pay. Okay, Ms. Howard, you are suing for $1,480. You claim that the defendant, Mr. Walker, was negligent and you incurred a Ticket from the police, yes. one yeah. of your costs, so you want him to pay for, for your expenses. Explain what happened. We were supposed to be going on a picnic day at a park. Um, once we got to the park, there was protesting going on. When we showed up at the park, we realized there was not just a circus going on, but there was also an animal rights protest. Um, we agreed to meet up at the park for a picnic get-together to mm -hmm. talk about anything or our relationship. Miss Howard was insisting on the meetup. We get out of the car, take the picnic stuff, we walk into the park, and then we realize there are rides and bouncy houses, and then there's like a very dedicated area of the park where people are protesting. Okay, so then what happened? We're supposed to be talking and find a spot, uh, a spot to sit to have this picnic, and um, instead of that, we run into some of my friends, and I tell Sheeta that like we can just stay and check out the protest. I definitely want to join the protest now mm -hmm. instead of um, talking about whatever that we would talk about. So did that make you angry that he basically blew you off last minute? Yes, because originally we were supposed to be going to this park for our picnic to talk about our relationship. But instead, he saw his friends and basically just left me to myself. Just blew you off. Yes. Yeah, that's not very cool, but okay. Coming up. Once he saw his friends and we got there, I told him that I don't feel comfortable in this situation. I don't want to be here. So as I'm trying to break out, there are police officers coming towards us, trying to break everybody up. Closed captioning provided by... 
You're watching Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. We're back with the case of Rashida Howard, who is suing Kenneth Walker for negligence. Why are you suing him for uh, fourteen hundred dollars? How did how did that happen, and why is he responsible? We weren't going there for the protesting. Um, we were there to talk about our relationship. Once he saw his friends, and we got there. I told him that I don't feel comfortable in this situation. I don't want to be here. So as I'm trying to break out, there are police officers coming towards us, break, trying to break everybody up. How were you caught in the middle where there was a little bit of violence in the crowd or in the protest? Well, I did follow him. I wanted to still have our conversation about the relationship. So we were all together. My friends had come over after they'd seen me. I'd seen them. We're all corralling together, catching up and we're all walking together towards the thick of the protest. So she was with you walking? Yes, she was with me and my friends. Like, so at a point in time, you... they were all our friends, okay, right? Okay, so you were voluntarily walking with them? Yes. Rashida's walking with us, catching up with friends for about 15 minutes until she starts complaining to me constantly about wanting to leave and not wanting to protest. But if she wanted to leave, did you help her? Did you say, let me walk you out? No. Did you say no. leave? He did not. No, I didn't say leave either. I was just with my friends, and she was with us, and I would have preferred to be with my friends than having whatever talk she wanted to have. Okay. All right. So then what happened then? She left. I was trying my best to get away from it, pushing through the crowd. Okay, so you're pushing. Did you, were you angry? that he wouldn't walk you out or angry he didn't come with you? Yes, because I feel like he should have been with me to just mm -hmm. go through the crowd so and make sure I was safe. mad that he blew you off, mad that he didn't at least walk you out of the park, so you were just furious. You just started walking out. Judge Perez's verdict when Justice for All returns. Promotional consideration provided by... The police officers were coming and they were macing and shooting rubber bullets. And so it seems like you kind of walked in the direction where that was the main cluster because he didn't get there. Yeah. So that's where I imagine you were detained by the police because you were walking there, detained by the police, and they probably thought you were part of that and you were arrested. Correct? I was not arrested, just detained and they just held me there all afternoon. I was trying to contact Kenneth to let him know what happened. Um, he didn't answer for a while. And once he did answer, I told him everything that happened. I told him that they gave me a $1,000 ticket for a public disruption. And then what's the rest of the money for, the $480? Yes, that is for the medical bill for how I sprained my ankle. So you sprained your ankle how? When I was going through the crowd, getting tumbled on and getting pushed. You have not proven that Mr. Walker was negligent, that he accidentally hurt you, that he planned this on purpose, which is kind of surreal to even think that he would do that, that he had the police in cahoots to arrest you. So you haven't really given me a legal claim that I can use and or facts to support that to show that Mr. Walker is responsible for your medical injuries and the ticket that you received. Based on the evidence, I will rule in favor of the defendant and I will deny the plaintiff's claim for $1,480. Good luck to you both. Thank you, Your Honor. Judge Perez has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been denied. Better luck next time, right? Mm, I still feel like you should be paying it. Well, I'm not. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.